Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today, I've got a Poundland haul for you. Um, I think I only did one of these a couple of weeks ago, but I literally can't stay away from Poundland. Um, not, oh well, no, there's one thing in my haul from the Valentine's range. Um, trying really hard not to get carried away with Valentine's of this year. Last year, I bought the bunting, I had balloons, we had a lot of stuff. However, um, we're trying to um, be a bit more low key this year because we're going away in February and yeah, just trying not to get too caught up in the romance. Um, I love decor. I'm not going to say I'm going to stick to this, but I'm trying really hard not to go crazy. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to jump right in. The first thing I've got is this. Uh, I have to say, my the Poundland near where I work has been having some crazy bargains lately. Crazy bargains, like whole aisles of stuff for like 25p. Um, and it's not all Christmas range. Like they had a small section which had like loads of wrapping paper. And I think the wrapping paper was reduced to like 10p a roll. And the shopper in me was like, buy it, buy it, buy it. But we're trying to declutter and knowing me, I'll misplace it before next Christmas anyway. So trying really hard to only buy things that I want um, and not buy things that are like, that's only 10p, I'm gonna buy it. Or that's only a pound, I'm gonna buy it. However, I bought this. <laughs> now I have, I follow a few people on Instagram that make this kind of thing for Etsy. Um, there's a really amazing one that I'd really like that's like made from like a rose copper gold color, um, rose gold color. Um, that says get naked and it's quite big and it's like 38 pounds and i like it but it's 38 pounds this i found in poundland for 25p it says follow your heart um and it's really got the little heart at the end i thought it was dead cute so yeah uh, i think this is gonna go in the bedroom john's gonna always promised to paint the bedroom for me so this shall be going in there Next thing I've got is I picked up some frames. I do like white frames. I got these. They're like multi frames, multi picture frames. Um, yes. So I do like a statement frame. Um, I have a giant one that has pictures from our wedding in that's never made it on the wall because it's the frame. I bought the frame very excited when just before we got married, and it's too big for any wall in our house. <laughs> So it's propped up behind a, um, behind the bedroom door in the second bedroom. Um, so yes, our house is small. We need small frames. There we go. So these I thought were quite good. These were reduced to 50p each. So obviously I bought two. Um, the really good thing and something that I always try and remember to check in Poundland, a lot of their frames only have a stand. Um, so you, but these actually have the little hook so you can hang them on the wall. So I like that. Staying with frames though that happened um these are the frameless clip flame what do they call them no they don't really call them anything clip photo frames so there's no frames uh these were reduced to 25p each and there's two so like 13 or 12 and a half p per frame um i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm going to do with them i've like done some lump pins Pinterest research where people would do craft projects and make like a frame cube. I don't know. They might just end up on the wall. I'm not sure, but yeah, they were 25p and had a moment of weakness and bought loads. Uh, sorry. Not sorry, because I'm gonna use them. Um, but I got overexcited and like oh, 25p and bought that. Anyway. I got some Radox bath soak. This is the Feel Relaxed um, in Lavender and Water Lily. Smells really nice. Um, if you know me, and you know John, my husband, you will know that he quite regularly likes to joke that I'm on a candle ban because I buy a lot of candles. <laughs> really trying hard to use up, not use up, but like enjoy my candles. I'm one of those people that like have an expensive candle and won't burn it because I don't want to use, not have it anymore. And that's just silly. I'm just like, burn the candle. Do you know what I mean? 
Um, but a lot of my candles are not um, aesthetically the right colour for my lounge living area. Um, so I bought one of these. So my house may, may still smell like pumpkins, the bright orange candles, or, you know, Christmas and they're bright red, but they're going to be in pretty blue. Like, I have a blue stripy one and a, a dark shade blue one on the go already, um, but this one is like this textured light blue tea light holder. I liked it. It was reduced. Was it 50p or 25p? It was less than a pound. I didn't buy a candle, that's a win. Um, I bought some nail polish. Uh, these are both Rimmels. It was two in the pack, so two for a pound. I've got this pretty nude colour. I thought that was quite nice. Um, in the shade Get It While It's Hot. And then I got a sparkly one. To be fair, if I'm honest, I probably would have paid a pound just for the sparkly one. Looks like that. I love a bit of glitter me. And that is in the shade 001 Diamond Dust. Like it. So yeah, 50p each. The one thing I got from the Valentine's range were these heat pads. Um, we are off to Poland again very soon. Um, it's very likely to be very cold and snowy and I don't like being cold, but I'm looking forward to it. So these are the ones where you can first use, you can click them and they warm up. Um, and then after that, you can warm them up in a saucepan. Uh, I just thought these would be great to have in my coat pockets while we're out exploring Poland in the very cold, possibly snowy weather. Um, I think, oh no. I picked up another one of these perfume sets. This is the Pear and Basil. Um, all transparency. I'm not the biggest fan of the Basil. I really like the pear. It smells like the Home Bargains pink candle that they had out last Easter, which was like um, pink pear and rhubarb. That's what this perfume reminds me of. I really like that candle. I really like that perfume. Um, not the biggest fan of the basil. Not sure if you meant to layer them together or wear them individually, but I've been wearing the pear by itself. I think, yeah, everything else is cleaning products. My Poundland has got Sephora back in. Like, two months without any Sephora in the store. I'm like... So I picked up a set of a bouquet. It's my favourite non-Christmas scent. <sighs> that isn't springtime. Oh, I'm... If we take out Christmas, my favourite Sephora scent is either bouquet or springtime. They had this one and loads of like lavender um, and not the good lavender, the bad lavender because they do two lavenders, don't they? But yeah, picked up that one because that's my favourite. I got another one of these dish matics. Um, basically, I bought one a couple of weeks ago and I've been using that with my fabric softener water mix in um, and it's working really well. So I'm going to actually use this one for washing up liquid. So yeah, and I picked up some of these. Now, I normally use reusable cloths for almost everything, um, but this is like a roll of cloths for the grubby jobs. So, you know, the jobs that you don't want to reuse the cloths for. So, like, the I'm going to have to clean the outside of my trickle fence on my windows um, soon. It's a bit of a slimy job. I don't want to wash those cloths. Um, same as, like, when you're cleaning parts of the car, um, our garage door needs cleaning and it has oily bits on it. I don't want to use my nice cloths that I'm going to have to wash. So yeah, these are a bit more disposable. Not fabulous for the environment, but um, I don't buy them that often. And then the last thing in here oh, is I've got myself some Lenore Spring Awakening Tumble Dryer Sheets. Now, I don't use my tumble dryer. Um, I have a really warm house and uh, I prefer to put my drying on the Maiden rather than the washing machine. I just think, I just think your clothes are softer when you do it that way. Anyway, these aren't to be used in a tumble dryer anyway, even though that's what they say. Um, I'm gonna put them in the drawers um, that our clothes are kept in. They smell amazing. I love this smell so much. I literally walked around the pan land holding them, sniffing them. People must have thought I was crazy. <laughs> I love that smell though. 
and yeah that is my Poundland haul I hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please give me a thumbs up comment subscribe share and I'll talk to you in the next one bye guys